All right, just a quick tutorial on how to get uh, live split to look something like this in OBS. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and return um, live split to how it'd be. Oh, when you first download it. Okay, so um, to tell like this, uh, I guess I didn't really. I'm just gonna go ahead. Uh, Edit splits brings up this dialog. We're gonna add your segments, your game name, and your run category. If you don't know this stuff, uh, pretty self-explanatory as long as you know. Uh, insert below. Uh, you'll automatically bring up games and runs from speedrun.com. Uh, just open edit splits to get there. I'm gonna go ahead and open one of my save splits uh, for the current speedrun I'm doing. Then it'll look like something like this with the default layout. So we're gonna go to edit layout. It'll bring up this. Uh, I already have this title, timer, and all this stuff to get this set up. Uh, and you can just add stuff from here. Uh, you can move them around. Uh, so if you just double click any around these, it'll bring up the layout settings. And from here, what you're gonna want to do is go to this right here and you change this to an image. I'm gonna go find an image. Uh, I just happen to have a green square. You make this in like paint or something. Uh, it is 2000 by 2000. Size and portion shouldn't matter too much. I'd say you should make it pretty big just so it'll like fill up any space because I use this for quite a few applications. Um, just make it that. And then from here, you're just gonna uh, make it should. Oh, there we are. Uh, you're just gonna make everything you find transparent. Um, yeah, and then uh, you're gonna take the shadows. Turn those off. Uh, go to your timer. Let's make this black. Turn off the gradient. Uh, detailed timer. Same thing. Uh, make everything black. Uh, splits. Actually, go to layout, uh, text will work for all these. Make that black. Um, from here, we're just, oh yeah, and the title. Make that black too. Um, or you make it whatever color you want, but I just like black. Um, you can change the font of all these. I would suggest using the same thing for all. I like, uh, Ash in quite a bit. I make it. This size. Let's change it for all these. Yeah. Um, it's kind of messed up. Oh, I guess that was just a glitch uh, with that, so I just kind of pulled it and tweaked it and it fixed itself. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and what you're going to do now, go down to your OBS scenes, you're going to uh, go ahead and add a window capture. Uh, you're going to use live split. So here's what it's going to look like in OBS, and here's what actually exists. Uh, so from here, you just want to go to your... Where is it? This thing here. Uh, I want to just add a quick chroma filter. Get everything out of the way for you. Uh, you just want to add a color key, actually. 
Um, do a custom color and uh, pick a screen color. Be the best way to go. And then you're just going to turn all this down. Contrast and brightness all the way down. Gamma doesn't matter if it's black. We're going to turn the smoothest all the way up. I can see that we still have some weird stuff going on. Uh, so we're going to do, kind of go to edit the layout, back into the layout settings. Um, going to go to our splits where it says alternating. We're just going to make that plain. Um, make sure it's transparent and then leave the separators are in here or something. Somewhere in here. Oh, now we're going to turn these off. I don't like them. Um, I like that one either. And then we have it. It's going to look like this, and it looks like this in OBS. And then you can just put this over your games, have that running in the background. Yeah, so that's it.